Thank you, Ma'am Abby, and praying for your good heart. Meron din kay Miss Miraj Montero, sabi naman niya, wow, amazing speaker, very inspiring. And from Cecilia Amolhera, great help to everyone. And ito, nabasa ko rin from uh, Sir Arnold Ilano, feel so nice hearing and learning from all your hearing. Meron akong mga magandang napulot sa sinabi ni Miss Abby kanina. Sabi niya po kanina, speak the truth in love. Uh, our disappointments in life leads us to choose either to grow or to be a distraction at wag daw tayong bitter. No? Our response can either break or make us, can either lead us to the best path or destructive path. Kailangan meron tayong signs of maturity. Tama naman, no? Because disappointments are uh, unavoidable. Kaya nga may binigay siyang tatlong tips sa atin. The right response, no? Then, the, yung ating choice and pagiging accountable sa lahat ng ginagawa natin. And of course, yung keep focus and keep going. So, so meron dapat daw tayong higher purpose sa life natin. So, ayan, ang gaganda ng mga sinabi natin. And of course, yung ending ni Miss Abby uh, captures my heart, sabi niya dito, to hold on that we have a God that sees and hears us. No? Nagbigay siya ng isang, ano, na don't give up, kasi sabi dito, hard times are small potatoes. The things we see now will gone. But the things that we cannot see, will last forever. Napakaganda po. Napakaganda. So, shout out sa ating mga viewers na outside SDO Das Marinas. Meron tayong viewer from Pangasinan, from Cavite City, from Bacoor, from La Union, at yung aking sister sa Thailand, Bangkok. Andyan, nanonood po sila kasama ng aking nanay. And of course, shout out din po sa aming regional DRRM na nanonood sa atin, si Sir Wilbert Ultindo. Ayan. So, open na po tayo for questions. Miss Abby, may nakita po ako kaninang question. Are you, okay na po tayo, Miss Abby, for the questions? Aba, aba. Okay. Aba. So, ito ay nabasa namin kanina from Miss Joanne Felicita. Sabi niya, Good day. I just want to ask your opinion on the difference between doing the right thing versus doing the things right. Is which more appropriate? Nakuha po ninyo, Miss Abby? Grabe, ang bigat na <laughs> <laughs> So, ano, doing the things right at saka doing what is the right thing to do. Yun po yes. yan, di ba? Actually, uh -uh. Uh, magkadugtong po siya eh pag tinignan mo. Kasi when you start do, when you choose to do what is the right thing to do, then you will, uh, you will do what is the right thing. Nag-gets niyo po ba? Kasi nag-choose nag ka eh, nagagawin mo yung tamang dapat gawin. Kasi di ba po ang, teka lang parang guluhan po ako, ang tanong po niya di ba, <laughs> ano po ang opinion ko doon sa, uh, pakiulit nga po yung Sabi niya, um, doing the right thing versus okay. doing the things right. Ano daw yes, ang mas appropriate? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, doing the right thing uh, than doing things right. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Tama. Okay. okay. So, yun nga po, um, Para po sa akin, uh, magkadugtong po siya. Because when you choose to do what is the right thing to do, of course, anong lalabas? You are going to do the things, your your things right. You will end up, you will end up, your results will be right. So magkadugtong po talaga siya. So first, choose what is the right thing to do. And then eventually, those things that you're about to do will be right or correct. Yun yung sinasabi nyo kanina na right response, no? The choice yes, and accountability. Okay. Ayun, babalik at babalik sa atin po yun. Uh, Doon po sa ating mga audience, if you want to ask questions, clarifications, pwede po tayong mag-chat doon sa ating box. Another question, Miss Abby, from Sir... Elep. Hi, Sir Elep. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Can you consider this appointment as a blessing? In what way? How? Ang dami niyang tanong, ha? Yes, Sir Elep, thank you po. Um, yes, 
Okay? Pero sabi ko nga po kanina dun sa three major points po, if you will make a choice, if you will make a choice to make this, okay, to see these uh, disappointments as a make, make, or break, okay? If you, if we will see these disappointments um, to be our stepping stone for a breakthrough or a path for a destruction. In my case po, um, given a chance, lagi po na sinasabi, I will never do the same things that I've done. I mean, hindi ko kailangan mag-drugs or um, magluko, hindi mag-aral ng mabuti, huwag sumunod sa nanay ko at saka sa kuya ko, uh, or mag-prostitute. Just for me to be an example now, I don't need to do such things, given a chance. I believe that God still have a purpose on me kahit na hindi yun nangyari sa life ko. Actually, actually nga po, sa nangyari sa life ko, I delayed this purpose in my life. That's why I encourage the young people not to do those things. It will just create uh, delays sa life nyo. So in my case, yung disappointments po na nangyari sa akin, God is just so sovereign that He turned those disappointments, those hurts, into one big breakthrough. And yung disappointments na nangyari po sa akin during rescue ko bataan, um, it's a blessing in the form that He he molded and He continued to mold my character. Disappointment, kaya nga po nang sabi ko, we can make a choice, okay? If this if these disappointments we are encountering right now can also be a, a molding or a molding moment, okay, with our character, rather than focusing doon sa dapat yung tao magbago, dapat sila magbago. No, choose to see that this can mold our character, so that later on in life, pag nakaharap ulit tayo ng disappointments or ng ng challenges, you will say to yourself na Okay, I got this. I've done. I have. I've been there. I got this because I know that God is with me. I got this. In po. And thank you po very much for that answer, Miss Abby. Nakaka inspire talaga ng iyong mga words. Another question is from Miss Luz Miminda Lucena Cantila. Sabi niya po, how can we take part on your advocacy, ma'am? Or at least, how can we reach your group? Okay, so we we have a Facebook page po. We have a Facebook page, Rescue Kabataan Philippines. You can type it and then you can follow and like it. And as of now po, since ang Rescue Kabataan po ay may MOA with the national with DepEd Central. Ibig sabi, actually, ma isingit ko lang po. Actually po, may Rescue Kabataan po sa DepEd Cavite. May partnership po ang RK at ang DepEd. Dasma pala, okay, Dep and Dasma. Pero in general po, uh, may partnership po tayo with uh, Dep and Central kung saan ang lahat ng schools po ay uh, pwedeng mag-avail po ng rescue kabataan. But since pandemic po, originally, ang, ang, ang rescue kabataan po kasi ay in school, in school, out of school youth and uh, and ALS, okay? Sa in school po, ang ginagawa po natin, kagaya po sa mga nangyari pong rescue kabataan sa Dasma, um, we we give a uh, uh, one whole year program one one school year program okay po so hindi siya one time victim event continuous po siya and then um binibigyan po natin ng um ng mga ate and kuya na gagabay sa mga bata for the whole school year so for this pandemic po hindi po siya available for that what we are doing right now is what you're doing right now in Dep and Dasma actually Dep and Dasma is the first one is the first na um nagkaroon uh, na nag-avail po uh, nag-initiate ng ganto po with in partnership with uh, Resyo Kabata in terms with Dep and ano po uh, division offices so uh, that's the only thing we can do now uh, and then we wait po na maging normal para po makabalik po sa pag-volunteer in school. Uh, another thing po, may add ko lang, is um, you can still uh, volunteer online. Ibig sabihin po, uh, uh, nag, uh, nag, nag, um, gumagawa po kami ngayon ng paraan kung paano po magkakaroon ng, ng modular training po ang Resyo Kabataan online para po sa, kasi what we do right now, lahat po nag-message ng may mental health issues, ganyan, example, kahit, um, rape victims, um, 
uh, mga suicidal, lahat po yun ay binabato namin sa mga sa partners po like local governments, DSWD, and um, counselor, psychiatrist, psychologist. So, pwede po kayo mag-message sa Resto Kabataan page para po makuha namin ang inyong con contact number. Okay, well noted po, Miss Abby. Ayan, uh, ulitin ko po ha, you can reach Ma'am Abby or Miss Abby from their webpage, uh, rescuekabataan.ph. No? And uh, uh, shout out uh, po, ang dami pa, ang dami po nating mga school heads na nanonood din dito uh, ngayon. Sabi ni Ma'am Corina Moralina, thank you Ma'am. Mas naintindihan ko po ang mga sitwasyon at tao sa paligid ko, higit sa lahat sa sarili ko. Wow, very nice. No? Um, may isang question po dito, Ma'am Abby. Uh, paano Apa. po kung nakakaramdam ako ng hate kay God dahil sa mga disappointment ko? Anonymous po siya. Yun. Paano um, po kung nakaramdam ako ng hate kay God dahil sa mga disappointments ko? Apa. Alam niyo po ba, I'll be very honest, ako po ay ganun. Um, yun po ang aking naging turning point nung uh, ako ay 23 years old, nung ako po ay na-overdose. And um, sabi ko nga po, 11 years of my life, I've wasted it hating God because I blame God for um, the death of my father na pastor. Na feeling ko, pinabayaan niya yung tatay ko, it was a sudden death. And uh, I hated him. I hated even the church and the people, everyone. I hated my mom for continuing serving the, the Lord. Um, but you know what? Uh, let me encourage you with this. Um, God uh, sees our pain. God sees our hearts, the deepest desires of our hearts. And because he is our father, he is the father to the fatherless. He is our comforter. You can be honest to him. Alam mo, alam niyo po, ako po nung time na yun, it was a desperate moment for me. So um, since ako po ay na-overdose, and um, that desperate moment allowed me to go back to him, parang uh, kailangan ba dumating pa ba sa moment na desperate moment ka, matter of life and death, para para sa akin para sa akin na bumalik sa kanya um, I encourage you na hindi na pagdaanan yung pinagdaanan ko and and if it starts with with that kind of hate then you can be honest with him and tell him you know Lord um nakakatampo bakit to nangyari you speak to him like a father and you know sabi ko nga po God is not KJ na nasasabihin sa iyo na oh, sino ka no he wants he wants us to be Childlike, not childish, but childlike. Childlike na para tayong mga bata na, na bumabalik sa kanya at nagsusumbong and umiiyak sa kanya. But once we do that, then we are ready to surrender. Okay? Um, why I'm telling you this sa nagtanong po? Because hate will be one of, your, one of our biggest um, hindrance for breakthrough. Sa case ko po, 11 years akong may hatred, anger, um, and um, uh, talagang, uh, yun talagang to the point na gusto kong uh, pumaray, ganun, ganun katindi yung hate ko. But grabe, grabe yung ginawa niya sa life ko, sa life ko for 11 years. It, hindi lang niya dinelay yung life ko, pero um, kumbaga tinanggalan niya ako ng kapasidad na magkaroon ng joy. And you know, the mere fact that you were able to watch this, you were able to listen to this, may, um, I believe that this day is an opportunity for you and God to, uh, for you to see God's love. Why? Because I believe that God will really change your story. The mere fact that He changed my story Diba? Ang pangit-pangit, ang dilim-dilim. Then he can also change your story. Just talk to him, surrender that hate, and allow him to change your story. Ay uh, 
Another question. Thank you, Miss Abby, for that. Another question po uh -huh. from Miss Salvation Adok. Hello po. Ask lang po, how can we help our pupils showing this appointment na di maka-face-to-face -face opening ng klase because of pandemic? Uh, ask lang po, okay. uh, are people showing this appointment na di maka-face-to-face opening? Ah, uh, di po sila maka-face, ah, uh, di uh, disappointment dahil hindi sila, ah, uh, okay, dahil, dahil online. Okay, okay. Actually po, napakaganda tanong yan. Kasi, nung meeting na po namin, nung asayan uh, ng, ng mga iba't ibang youth leaders sa ibang bansa po, medyo na, ano po yan, na pag-usapan din yan na, Siyempre, nakaka-disappoint, na parang feeling ng mga bata, uh, totoo bang may matutunan kami dahil online yan, okay, uh, paano naman kung wala kami, yun nga, access sa internet. Um, um, but one thing that we can encourage to our students, to our people, is to tell them that, um, you see, um, hindi tayo nawalan ng option, Okay. Um, God still, and um, through our government officials and to the Department of Education, still made a way. Although, nakaka-disappoint kasi hindi mo makikita yung mga kaibigan mo, hindi ka mga face-to-face with your teacher, but hindi ka matitigil sa pag-aaral. Kasi po, ang, ang, ang gusto ko pong i-share dito, marami sa ating mga kabataan ngayon, ay mahina ang coping skills. Ibig sabihin po, it's easy for them na parang, uh, yun nga, ma-disappoint, mapanghinaan ng loob. So I encourage the young people, pick up your mat, okay? Pick up your mat and um, look on the other side. Na, okay, oh, hindi ka magkaka-face-to-face. -face. Pero ano? Ano yung good thing? Well, makakapag-aral pa rin ako. Well, hindi ako pinabayaan. Meron pa rin paraan para makapag-aral. Makapag-aral. And hindi naman sinasabi na forever to. Okay? Pero kung papaapektuhan mo yung sarili mo, mag-disappoint ka dahil hindi lang face-to-face, -face, I mean, yun ang pwedeng makaapekto sa'yo forever kapag, kapag nagpabaya ka sa pag-aaral mo dahil dun sa disappointment, dun sa disappointment na yun. Again, hindi to, hindi to sinasabi na forever at ang maganda, may ginawang paraan para makapagtuloy tayo sa pag-aaral. Ayun, thank you Miss Abby for that. Na, na, na may naalala tuloy ako na kasabihan. Uh, it might be stormy now but the rain doesn't last forever. Yeah. Ayun, may another question po. May isang question pa ole from anonymous. Sabi po dito, what if yung nag-cause sa iyo ng very deep hurt ay ayaw kang tigilan at still pretending na nagki-care sa iyo? Ayun po Miss Abby, mukhang malalim ang pinagugutan po nito ng ating anonymous view, viewer na nag-send po ng, ng chat sa akin. So parang ang tanong po niya, ano po ang gagawin niya? Kasi what if? Uh, po, what if kung ang nag-cause sa'yo ng very hurt, deep hurt, ay ayaw ka pa rin tigilan? Parang pretending pa rin na nagkikare sa'yo. Ah, Okay. So, um, yun, um, babalik lang po ako dun sa naging points po natin kanina. Number one is our respond. Okay, yung respond pa rin po natin. Um, and gusto ko lang po din balansihin um, kasi paano po natin masasabi na pa, eh, um, magkukonclude ka na ba siya na ganun na siya lagi or will you still give a chance? Kagaya nga po sinabi ko kanina, give our family a chance. Okay, na magpakita ng love na yon. Pero on the other side din po, para po balance din, sinasabi, dun sa isang program po namin ng Resto Kabataan, sinasabi po nung license counselor namin, pagdating po sa ganyan, ay um, is to confront, okay, to talk to that person and um, um, be honest, open up to that person kung ano yung yung nararamdaman mo, kung ano yung um, hurts na meron. Pero yun nga po yung lagi pa ulit po sinasabi ng counselor namin na you must share it still with love. Ibig sabihin po na to the point na parang um, ano, bang, ano bang purpose mo? Bakit mo kakausapin? Bakit ka mag-open up? To 
uh, um, to rebuild or to destroy? Ano pong per, uh, kailangan i-assess mo muna, bakit ako makikipag-usap? Bakit ko ito sasabihin? Kasi gusto ko na maayos yung pwede pang maayos or gusto ko na um, papunta ba kami dun sa path na tama o papunta kami dun sa destructive na path? So, uh, yun po yung sabi ko, the right response pa rin, number one, um, na, na pipiliin mo pa rin yung tama na dapat gawin. Uh, pipiliin mo kung mag-make ba ito, mag-break sa'yo. And then number two is you can also confront. Okay, confront. But assess first. Okay, at uh, assess first yung, yung purpose mo. Gusto ko ba itong maayos o hindi? So, when you confront, speak the truth in love pa rin. Uh, wait. Uh, okay. Ayan. Ayan Another question from Winber James. Can you give us an example? How do we respond in love when dealing with bashing and disappointment from other people? How can we respond na in a very way, not hurting them back, but also don't remove accountability sa ginawa nila? Thank you. Apa. Apa. So maganda po yung tanong ni Sir Winber. Um, kanina po may nasabi ako na halimbawa kung ang nakasakit po sa, sa atin ay nasa social media or ang attack ay galing sa social media, uh, as much as yun po talaga ang in-encourage ko, um, you don't fight back sa social media, yung magtitirahan kayo sa social media ng mga salita kasi um, hindi, hindi po siya, hindi siya tama hindi po siya tama at hindi siya makakatulong, hindi siya makakabuti sa sitwasyon. Now, um, kaya po na isa pa po niyang tanong, ay yung tanong nga po niya, how to res respond uh, in love na hindi po tinatanggal yung accountability dun sa ginawa. For example po, um, may people in authority. Po. So, um, gaya po nung sinasabi nung sa isang program ng Resyo Kabataan, if may nagawa sa'yo yung isang tao and and um, may people in authority na pwede kang mapagsabihan na pwedeng mag-hold accountable mag-hold accountable doon sa ginawa ng tao na yon then much better po yon kaysa ikaw mismo yung papatol sa tao especially po sa social media okay kasi nga po sabi ko nga po walang mabuting maitutulong kung pareho lang kung gagawin mo yung ginawa din sa iyo Okay, so, um, if there are people, ang bawa po, sa loob ng office, okay, if there are people accountable, um, yung mga in authority na pwede nyo pong mapagsabihan, then si, much better po na sila po yung mag-hold accountable dun sa ginawa nung, nung tao. From Maze Alcuaz Rapada, sabi niya po, watching here from Habay to Bacoor City, proud to be tenyo. Wow, nakakatawa naman. Uh, another question po um, from Ms. Rhea B. Berdida. Ito po ay isang DRRL um, or Division uh, School Reduction Management Coordinator. Which comes first po? Forgiving yourself? For hating someone? Or forgiving someone who gave you biggest disappointments or depressions in life? So, yun okay po, po yung question. Um, actually po, sa Rescue Kabataan, may tinuro po kami doon sa isang session uh, na swak na swak po sa tanong po ni ma'am. Um, kasi doon sa session po na yun, uh, we, we share with the students na, number one, you need to forgive yourself. Okay? Forgive yourself. At, um, uh, kasi most of the time, di ba, we tend to keep on blaming ourselves. Yung pinatawad ka na, pinatawad ka na ni Lord, pinatawad ka na ng iba tao, pero you keep on blaming and hating yourself. Okay? So, yun po yung, yung sinayon namin Number one, you need to forgive yourself. And then number two, you need to forgive others. Because you have received that forgiveness from the Lord and 
what, what, um, that's the only time that we can forgive others. Okay? Hindi po kasi na, um, mahirap kasi nga ibigay yung wala naman tayo. Ibig sabihin, we need to ask first forgiveness for our uh, own failures or sins. That's the only time we can also give forgiveness once we have received that forgiveness from the Lord. Tama po yan, Miss Abby. No? We cannot really give what we don't have. So dapat sarili mo na. No? Uh, another question po from Miss Ava Lienjo Aquino. Sa panahon ngayon, madaming kabataan ang hindi na makapag-open up ng abuse na naranasan nila. How can we encourage them to open up na mag sila sa parents nila or teachers nila lalo ngayong online tayo? Yes. Um, yes, See, actually po pinag-uusapan namin yan madalas sa rescue kabataan that nowadays young people really uh, don't want or or talagang mas mas pipiliin nilang mag-open up sa tropa o sa mga tao na hindi nila nakakasama everyday kasi may tendency nga na kapag nag-open up ka halimbawa sa magulang or sa teacher ay meron ka na kagad every time na nakikita ka nila pwedeng may prejudgment na kagad na ko na ako baka maugawa niya ulit to naku ginawa na niya yung dati so wala yung reset ganon so that's why yung mga kabataan natin ngayon hirap po talaga silang mag uh, open up especially kung abused okay yung um, that's why we we aside dun sa trust na dapat na build po natin we need to rebuild that's the key term rebuild okay our relationship uh, that's why we encourage um, the parents every time we do rescue kabataan na um, yung pakikipagkwentuhan ng walang halong, uh, walang hidden agenda. Alam nyo, sana po na-gets nyo, yung parang makikipagkwentuhan ka intentionally, that's the word, intentionally, ng, ng whether mag-open up siya sa'yo o hindi, nakikipagkwentuhan ka lang. Hindi po kasi, hindi po kasi makakatulong kung i-approach mo lang siya dahil may gusto kang malaman, may gusto kang kalkalin o dahil naghihinala ka, dapat po nagbibuild tayo intentionally. At kasama po sa pagbibuild doon, yung pakikipagkwentuhan talaga. Um, as simple as, o oh, kamusta, kamusta, um, ano, ano, ano kaya sa tingin mo ang pwede natin gawin pagdating dito sa online classes mo ngayon? Saan ka sa tingin mo, uh, saan ka nahihirapan na subject? Or um, anong pwede natin pang maitulong sa'yo? Okay, Sim uh, simple as, kamusta ka? Yan talagang kamusta ka? O, um, and then, uh, wag tayo po agad maglagay ng barrier na parang pag ito sumagot ng ganto alam ko na. Okay? So again po, the key words that I mentioned, rebuild and be intentional na makipagkwentuhan without, without expecting na mag-open up sila sa inyo. Um, darating po yung point. Sa rescue kabataan, ilang taon na po namin itong ginagawa at napatunayan po namin na darating at darating yung point na sila ang magkukusang mag-open up sa iyo. Pag nakita na nila na, oh, to, hindi ako pinilit mag-open up. Talagang nag-build lang ng relationship. Talagang gusto lang niya mahalin ako. Because nowadays, these young people, <laughs> they are shouting for love. Diba? They are demanding for love and they're longing for love. Um, that's why po, we just need to show them that, okay, I, I, I just love you. Okay? Mag-open up ka man o hindi, I just love you. So, yun po. Parang in this time of pandemic, Miss Abby, kailangan lang po ng mga tao muna is yung pa someone to listen. No? Uh, mm -hmm. This would be our last question. I think this is from a parent. Sabi po niya, from Miss Senga, Analek Kram. Kids today doesn't want to be rejected. Konting po na, big deal na kaagad. They get easily disappointed. As a parent, paano ba ang dapat na paraan to correct your child's behavior? Kasi kung parang kakausapin mo lang, sometimes they didn't take it seriously. Apo. Let's go po. So, yeah. Um, actually, meron kaming teenager na anak. So, uh, iyan po talaga yung struggle nowadays. And um, um, yung una po muna, yung konting po na big deal na agad. Just like um, yung nasabi ko po kanina, 
according po to sa naging pag-aaral ng uh, ng UN Youth mahina po ang coping mechanisms ng mga kabataan ngayon pag tiningnan mo magagaling po talaga sila yun nga lang pagdating sa sa realidad ng buhay um, mahina mahina po and um parang um masanay sila sa instant Okay, kaya big deal sa kanila kapag napupuna, big deal sa kanila kapag nag-hurts, pag na-offend. Okay, so that's the reality now. So sabi nyo nga po, they get easily disappointed. That's true. So again, uh, then next nyo po tiyan, paano po ba ang dapat na paraan to correct our child's behavior? Now, um, um, yung tanong po na yon ay naka para kung nakadepende sa klase ng relationship po na meron po kayo. Um, dahil po, hindi ko naman po kilala halimbawa yung anak ninyo, then hindi po ako makapagbigay na dapat ganito gawin mo. Ganito. Kasi magkakaiba po tayo ng sitwasyon. Okay? So wala pong, wala pong magbigay na definite na sagot. Pero ang pwede ko pong maibigay is um, a few tips or encouragement. Um, number one po, um, is in this uh, season na ganyan po ang ating mga anak, we, again, the word is intentional. We need to be very intentional. And when we say we need to be very intentional in in in, in um, making, uh, in showing them the love, ibig sabihin po ay hindi naman po to the point na parang bastusan. Okay? Ibig sabihin po ng be, be very intentional ay titingnan mo yung anak natin na may hope. Titingnan mo siya na, okay, okay, sige. Um, makulit siya ngayon, hindi siya nakikinig ngayon, pero may hope. Marami po kasi sa atin, ang tingin, parang wala na agad pag-asa. Or dahil nga sobra tayong sumasakit ng ulo, parang, ay nako, ganyan talaga yan, wala na yan hanggang paglaki niya, ganyan talaga siya. In, in loving our kids intentionally, we need to see them as someone created by God as well na may magandang future then. Now, basic tips po na pwede kong ibigay um, ay to have a moment of one-on-one. -on -one, okay? Kung hindi po, ibig sabihin mo na one-on-one, -on -one, parang bonding. Okay, bonding. Kung hindi po kayo sanay na gawin yun, at parang awkward yon para sa mga anak nyo, kapag tinawag nyo sila, ganyan, oh, bakit kami ginagato yan? Dahil puro gadgets na lang nga po ang mga bata ngayon. Then, at first lang po yan, kailangan po nating maging consistent. Another word po, di ba, number one, intentional. Number two po is consistency. Um, dahil po, um, through that, mas makikilala po natin sila and through that, makikilala din po nila tayo. Makikita nila na, okay, pag ginawa ko to nakaka-hurt pala to sa nanay ko. Oh, hindi ko na to uulitin. Nako, kapag nasabi ko to maka-offend to sa nanay, hindi to tama. So, hindi ko na to ulitin. Them, them, they themselves po will realize what is right from what is wrong. Okay? So, Two words po, intentional in loving them. And number two po is to be consistent in rebuilding and building connection, communication with uh, our kids. Nice one, Miss Abby. Napakaganda. No? Uh, sorry, pero meron kaming nakitang napakagandang question din. Um, last na last na po. <laughs> From... Cecilia, Dave, paano mo po malalaman na ang pupils or student mo ay may pinagdaraanan na palang depression? Ayun. Oo nga naman po. Okay. Ano yung mga signs Opo. siguro or ano makikita sa bata? Opo. Um, sabi ko nga po, dahil hindi po ako licensed um, psychology psychiatrist, what I, I can only share is based on what we experience in RK and what I've learned from the licensed counselor that we are working with. So, um, pero po, ah, uh, paalala ko lang po, nasabi ko rin po kanina na hindi po tayo yung pwedeng mag-assess dun sa bata or mag-conclude sa bata na, ah, ganyan siya, naka-eyeliner yan, for sure, depressed yan. O ganun po, hindi. Hindi po tayo yung pwedeng mag-assess. Although may mga, um, gaya nga po nang sinabi, may mga 
possible symptoms po, possible symptoms. So, ang ma-share ko po, makikita po, pwede possible na makita natin na um, nawawalan na siya ng, nawawalan siya ng, ng gana sa pag-aaral. Okay? Uh, hmm? Tapos, parang pag, sa, parang pag kinausap mo about life, ganyan, wala lang. Nawawalan siya ng, nawawalan na siya ng gana sa life, generally. And then, another thing po is, um, according sa study po, is, uh, weight loss. Kasi nawawalan ka na ng, da, dalawa po siya eh. Um, pwede kasi ding weight gain or weight loss. So, yung sudden, sudden po, okay, na weight gain or weight loss. Another thing po is, um, that can be very, very useful, helpful is the social media. Um, I remember po, nung ako ay nag-judge ng, um, para po sa mananalo ng student, the best student sa 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 isang region ay isa po sa taktika namin ay tingnan ang social media ng estudyante and because maraming estudyante na nagpapahiwate ng mga sintomas through social media so you can check their social media pero not to the point po that you will message them and then you will tell na bakit ganito post mo bakit may post ka na na may sungay bakit may post ka na I, I, I wanna uh, I, I wanna be alone. I wanna go somewhere else. Hindi po hindi po magandang confrontation yung ganong uh, moment. What we can do is kapag nakita niyo na po yung mga simple symptoms po na na ganon, I ulitin ko po subtle approach. So hindi niyo po magagawa ang rebuke, ang correction kung wala naman po tayong na build na relationship. So Uh, subtle approach, kamustahin niyo po muna, kamustahin niyo ang family, kamustahin niyo ang mga kaibigan niya, kamustahin niyo po siya hanggang siya po mismo ang mag-open up. So basic uh, basic po na na symptoms na 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 kikita nga po namin is yung literal nawawalan siya ng gana um, to the point na baka hindi na pumapasok and then um, uh, weight gain, sudden weight gain, sudden weight loss. And then uh, we can also check their social media. Ayan. Thank you very much, Miss Abby. Pero may isang huling hirit pa po talaga. <laughs> Sorry for this. Parang kulang oh, yung oras natin, Miss Abby. Ano, sabi dito, Ma'am okay Ems, pa, Ma Ems, bakit po sa tuwing naalala ko yung hurt na ginawa sa akin, which caused my depression, ay lagi ako umiiyak, even if years na itong lumipas. So, anonymous din po siya. Yes. Parang I can relate to that po. On. Opo. Yes. Opo. I can I can relate to that po kasi yun nga po 11 years ko pong binattle yung death ng papa ko and uh, I'm a victim of um, sexual abuse I was a victim of gang rape so um nung ako po ay na rape uh, matagal na na taon ko po na na settle sa puso't isip ko yon um, let me clear this of course Maalala mo yun, okay? Maalala po natin yun. Pero po, ang sinasabi dito na forgiveness and total surrender is kapag naalala mo siya, wala, kang, wala ka nang galit. Kasi napalaya mo yung sarili mo doon sa, sa, sa pit ng unforgiveness. So, um, nung time po na naalala ko po lagi yung nangyari po sa akin at... Um, at una nga po, biniblame ko yung sarili ko, tapos of course yung blame ko yung ibang tao and then biniblame ko si God. So what helped me with during the process is uh, this one word. Okay, aside from um, yung alam na natin na let go is the big word surrender. Um, when we say surrender, that means... Makita mo man yung tao na yun na magdusa dahil sa ginawa niya sa'yo o hindi mo man makita na nagdusa yung tao yun, nagniniwala ka at nagtitiwala ka na alam ng Diyos ang nangyari at ang Diyos ang pwedeng magbigay ng justice sa'yo. Yun ang surrender. 
hindi mo man makita yung kahinat na natawin ka. In my case, I've never seen those people. Okay? But, yun yung naging dahilan, ba't ako nag-enter ng, ng, ng um, prostitution? Pero, hindi din siya nakatulong. Kasi, dahil gumawa ko ng sarili kong paraan, hindi din siya nakatulong. But when I've learned yung beauty ng surrender, na yun pala yun, okay, makita ko man silang magdusa o hindi, dahil sinurender ko na sila kay Lord, binatawad na ako nila at siya nangyari, dapat patawarin ko rin sila, may justice, alam ko, naghantay para sa akin, hindi ko man makuha dito sa lupa, pwede siyang ibigay ng Diyos. Hindi ko man makita na magdusa sila, then hindi, hindi sila makakawala sa kamay ng Diyos. Makawala man sila sa kamay natin na tao, pero hindi hindi sila makakawala sa kamay ng Diyos. So sana po, makatulong sa inyo, yung word na yun, surrender. Napakaganda, Miss Abby. Kinilabutan po ako sa shenayar niyo po sa amin ngayon. Uh, bago po tayo magtapos, alam ko marami pong nabitin sa ating oras. At uh, mayroon nga po akong may nag-text po sa akin, may nag-PM po sa akin na buong session siyang umiiyak while listening to you. Very touchy po talaga ang inyong ginawa at sinabi ni sa atin. So, uh, bago po namin ibigay ang inyong certificate, any parting words po, Ms. Abby, for our viewers? Yes. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po ulit, DepEd, tayo, uh, Dasmarinia City, sa pag-invite po sa akin. Salamat po sa panood, salamat po sa pagsama sa amin hanggang question and answer portion. And ako po ay um, privileged and humbled na na mag-serve mag at magpagamit po through this online platform. Um, before we end this, I just wanted to, I just want to encourage everyone, just like what we've said a while ago, that the hard times we are experiencing right now, disappointments, hurts, frustrations, um, regrets, and even depression, um, ito yung mga bagay na kapag nalagpasan natin ay may good times na nagaantay para sa atin. May prepare na victory celebration para sa atin. If we will not give up and if we allow God to transform and change our story and let Him be the Lord and Savior of our life. Again, remember that whatever we have right now can be gone. Okay? Can be gone tomorrow but the things that we cannot see will last forever and remember that in this trying times we have a god who rescues us from even from our darkest moments in life thank you po <laughs>